Hey y'all, Tracy here. Here with another commentary uh, video. This commentary will be about these schools. Parents, please see after your children in these schools. Just this past week, today is Friday, um, April the 12th, okay? I have heard about three incidents so far that's dealing with children and the mistreatment in these schools either by the children and the teachers ain't doing nothing about it or the teachers is doing some kind of wrong uh behave doing something you know having wrong behavior toward the kids and nothing is being done about it and it has caused for an alarm and somebody need to speak up and say something. Okay, then you wonder why your child don't want to go to school. What is really going on at that school? And this go for high schoolers too. This go for from what they say preschool to 12th grade. Okay, I don't care how old that child is. Okay, check up on your child in these schools. If you got your child going to these schools then you need to be checking up on your children and that even go for us grandparents as well because it do not rule out the fact that okay mom and dad might can't do it but if you can check up on your child in these schools like i said i've heard of three incidents over the news that has happened even one has came close to home real close to home uh, in my family, uh, something happening to a family member's child and nothing was done about it. Children, I know that it's hard. I'm going to say this to you. If you guys are watching this video and you know something is going on in that, in that classroom or in that lunchroom, them gym rooms, them any rooms where these kids or these teachers or whoever got a little time where they want to do some little wrong stuff to you please don't be afraid to tell your parents them is the only ones who really really can help you okay getting back to the situation like i said it's been a lot of this going on and you know a lot of the times parents we don't we working so much to where we don't even have the time to check in on our kids to see what is really happening, what's really going on. But we got to. We got to let our kids know. Let them uh, be able to come to you and be able to tell you about things that's going on. Because these teachers and these other kids or these other kids' parents that be doing things will have your child scared up. Or so darn scared to where they not going to tell you anything. Be able to, when you get home from work and you just have, I don't care if it ain't nothing but a quick second. Ask that child how was their day. Find out if anybody is messing with that child in some kind of way that that child is uncomfortable with. Because this is where it starts. I know we can get so wrapped up in our day to where we don't really pay these pay our children too much attention. And I have to say, maybe I was a little bit, um, uh, was doing that too as being, you know, having children of younger ages all the way up until 18. I have a son that's still in school and he still, he will come and let me know, you know, things that he don't like what's happening and going on. But it hasn't been to where it's been something of this nature. But you have to build that relationship. Here that even though it sounds crazy to you or silly, dumb, stupid, well, what you want to call it, if that is what's on that child's mind and that's bothering that child, then sit there and listen to it. And try to help that child come up with solutions of what, you know, or how they can deal with it. But at the end of the day, let them be the one that's able to deal with it. But then you know, if it's something that you know that child can deal with. But if it's something where you know you have to step in there and be uh, maybe like some type of a moderator or something. Because I know you don't want your child really, you don't want your child disrespecting adults to where it might be something where you have to step in there yourself. 
and find out what's happening and what's going on and letting that person know that, hey, I'm not going for this and this can happen if you continue to do this or that. You know what I'm saying? So it's just all about people. you got to check in on your children in these schools because these people will have, it's almost like a situation where stuff is happening to your child and the child is not telling you that it's going on. Okay, well, the same thing that's going on in these schools as well, it's still the same type of crap. We got to be more um, in in touch with our children. We got to be more in touch with our children because as we can see that it is definitely where our children is under attack. Okay? Whether you realize that or not, the children are under attack. Either way, it's like it's hitting the child. So us as parents nowadays, we really have to be more watchful now than ever. Okay, than ever before, even though I believe that to a certain point, no matter when, what time of uh, year it was or whatever, what uh, century it was or whatever, a parent still was watchful of their children. But it was to the fact where the parents had more of control over their children to where you had the man out there doing the working outside of the house and mom was at home with the children. See, nowadays it's both parents working or it's just one parent working by themselves. And like they say, it even though you might have, you might be there for your child, it still takes a darn village to raise a child. I don't give a care what nobody says. And with this day and time and how things is now, you, we all, people should definitely know better by now. It takes a village to raise a child. I mean, you can have one child, but you better have at least about 10 people um, standing guard to help you some kind of way with that child. Because you're going to need it. Because if you're not able to do it, then who else is going to be there to help you? And then if they can't do it, then you might need somebody else to do it. You know, that's why I say it takes a village to raise a child. So you could just, if it if it's like that with one, just imagine it with two. Imagine it with three. You know, some of us might have that support that we need and everything, and then some of us don't. Okay? But my main thing is, I'm just trying to say, y'all, is parents, be more in touch with what's going on with your child in these schools. Because it's stuff that is going on in these schools and these kids are being... Um, told they if they I believe they being threatened some kind of way to where they, they don't want to talk about it or something like that. And then you'll be to the fact you don't even know anything. Then your child coming home with all these marks, knocks and bruises and all this that's going on upside their head and you wonder what in the heck happening. Even though I've heard a few things about some daycares. I never liked them. I really never liked them. But I mean, when we have to get out here and work and do what we have to do, you know, then we have to do what we got to do because we don't have those trusty villagers to help us with our children. You know, it's a lot of us that's in that situation. A lot of us. But the only thing I'm just saying, pay attention to your child. Listen to your child. Talk to your child. Let that child build some kind of rapport where that child will be able to come and tell you whatever is going down with them. Because... If if you don't, you're not going to know what's happening with your child. You're not going to know. So I just wanted to come in and just drop that little commentary. You know, I hope this is something that will wake some people up. If you've been asleep, I hope it's something that will um, encourage you to really think about this. Because it is stuff that is really happening with these kids, even on school buses. You know, it was an incident where someone was speaking about how they had to confront somebody on school buses. You know, it's... It's a whole lot of stuff is happening and going on with our children. And if our children is not, you know, telling you, you won't never know until something really bad happened and then it's going to be too late. So build a rapport with your child. Let you, where that child is able to come to you and tell you whatever. I don't care how dumb or stupid it might sound. Sit there and listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's where it starts. Well, you know, you hear, oh, Tommy and Johnny hit me. Okay, well, what did you do? You know, or whatever. It's building that rapport. You know, you want to get that going with the child to where the child will be more um, in, in tune with coming to you, telling you things when stuff is really going down with them. Okay? 
So, yeah. I just wanted to put that out there because it was on my heart and mind to say it. And I just hope, like I said, it was something to get you guys thinking. So, until the next, thanks so much for listening. And you have a good day.